Hello guys, hello everyone. I am doing this video which I haven't planned on doing but uh, recently there have been like a really really bad news for all the public sellers and some people already expected it's gonna happen. I'm gonna explain you right away what is actually going on on T public as there are going to be additional fees charged same as on redbubble so if you haven't heard like a couple days ago or actually about a week ago redbubble released like a terrible but terrible update informing sellers and creators that there are going to be additional fees added to your withdrawals so it really discouraged a lot of sellers i have a separate video made about it so definitely check this so you have like a more understanding what's happening here and today is the day uh, same thing happened on the public unfortunately first of all why some people already expected is gonna happen on the public also same as on redbubble because if you don't know redbubble acquired the public back in like I, I believe five years ago or something and even uh, after like a second of searching on google you can find the information that the public is a platform for custom apparel and designs owned by redbubble so generally if redbubble is in trouble it uh, probably means the public also is going to be in troubles and right now i'm going to read you the email from the public some of you may have received uh, so we're going to go through like step by step of this email so you have like a complete understanding what's going to be charged if you are going to be charged and things like that Comparing to Redbubble email, this one is terrible. We have like a couple of informations, but there is no like links to additional articles or something like that. So uh, really, really terrible. Let's go uh, from the beginning. So for years, we've been shouldering increased costs without passing them on to artists. But beginning May 8th, uh, the public must increase our existing service fee, a fixed fee charged to artists for each sale they make through our marketplace, which will result in reduced artist earnings for select products. Um, so the first bull, like a very important thing uh, I will also talk about later is that not all the products on the public are going to be charged some additional costs. Uh, but let's continue. Uh, the service fee increase will depend on your account category. So they did pretty much the same thing as on Redbubble. Uh, they created some sort of account categories. Redbubble created three account tiers. Uh, here we have like a two categories. So this is an artisan and apprentice accounts. These categories have always existed on the public, but now we are publicly sharing them. They are not based on the amount of sales an account generates. I really don't know how to interpret this as if they have already existed for a long time, does it mean some people have been charged additional costs from the beginning or something like i'm not sure what these categories were for um before but okay anyway uh, what's the difference between artisan and apprentice accounts artisan accounts these accounts represents artists who designs unique products most likely to interest the customers browsing the public marketplace they may include everyone from top sellers to brand new signups just starting out the service fee increase will be discounted for artisans but resulting in a smaller reduction in earnings and here this is a very important information if you are reading this email you are an artisan account so I'm going to be in this artisan accounts, which will be charged less um, comparing to the uh, apprentice accounts. So here are the informations for apprentice accounts. These accounts represent artists who are less discerning about the products they design, which are less likely to interest the customers browsing the public marketplace. For example, they may be spamming the public at high volumes, exploring more automated contents like vector packs or clip art, or may not have uploaded enough art and blah, 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 stuff like that. So more or less, it means that um, people who are maybe not spamming but uploading a lot on the public uh, cost the website more money and this is what they are trying to tell you here so um, I think the most important thing everybody was waiting for how will the service fee increased affect artists earnings so for the artisan earnings uh, beginning May 8 
artisan accounts will earn four doors on full price and two doors or for discounted uh, sales of apparel and select home goods. This aligns the earnings for these products with the earnings for classic t-shirt. So what it means, if you sell a classic t-shirt, you will earn the same amount of money as you did before, which is like the only good information from this email, as probably on TeePublic, uh, the most sales come from t-shirts, not like on Redbubble stickers. So this is a good information that if you are an artisan account and you are mostly selling t-shirts, you're gonna earn the same amount of money as before. Uh, the problem is with another products which will give you a higher margin, they will also um, give you four or two dollars uh, for discounted products. And they are confirming that um, the impact of this change will be relatively small for most artisans. Uh, based on 2022 sales, the average artisan uh, would have seen a loss of only $6 per month. Uh, so I believe these type of accounts already, I mean, the charges for these accounts were already applied back in 2022, which I had no idea about. And for the apprentice account, uh, the situation is a little bit worse. So beginning June 1st, apprentice accounts will earn $3 on full price and $1 for discounted sales of apparel and select home goods. Until then, they will have the same service fee as artisan accounts starting May 8th. So from the beginning of the June, if you haven't received such email because they haven't even given us uh, like the way how we can check it, what accounts do we have besides like giving this spoiler that if you are reading this email, you are an artisan account. So if you are an apprentice um, account, I think it's it's really depending if you still want to continue on selling on uh, T public, they gonna cut you a lot. Like they are cutting almost um, a half of your earnings. For example, when it comes to discounted products, a really really bad news. So a really really bad news for T public. Uh, I hope this video was quite informative for you. I know that uh, a lot of people already expected this is going to uh, be happening also here on T public. Unfortunately. Um, as you may know from, for example, Redbubble stock price, they are going down, they are going really low. As many people say, Redbubble can easily become right now like a penny stock or something like that. Really bad news for all of us sellers on the public. I'm just happy that I'm quite lucky to be in this artisan account. Uh, let me know what category of an account you have received. And yeah, see you again very soon in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.